in Saskatchewan varies greatly in temperature and precipitation. Scorching hot summers and ice cold winters. An average year also takes Saskatchewan through periods of high precipitation and periods of sunny, dry conditions. In the next few minutes, we will be examining why Saskatchewan experiences the climate that it does. It's autumn on the prairies. As October approaches in Saskatchewan, the temperature dips below zero. Many birds migrate south for the season, animals go into hibernation, and trees lose their leaves. The people prepare for the coming winter, and the snow begins to fly. In the dead of winter, the temperature in Saskatchewan may stay below minus 15 degrees Celsius for weeks at a time. Winters last, on average, from late October until March or April. Coldest temperature ever recorded in Saskatchewan was minus 57 degrees Celsius in Prince Albert, extremely cold. The question being, why so cold and snowy? When compared to warmer, more tropical areas of the world, snow is rare or even unheard of. Which brings us to the point, what causes seasons anyway? You may think that Earth rotates around the Sun, straight up and down. This is not the case. The Earth is on a 23.5 degree axis. A small tilt, but enough to cause winter, summer, fall, and spring. As the Earth moves around the Sun, the angle of the North and South Poles are constantly changing. For example, during the summer solstice, the North Pole is tilted 23.5 degrees towards the Sun. This gradually changes until the winter solstice, when the North Pole is tilted 23.5 degrees away from the Sun. Saskatchewan is located in the Northern Hemisphere, far from the equator. At the period in time when the Northern Hemisphere is farther away from the Sun, the Sun hits Saskatchewan at an angle and is lower in the sky. When this happens, the sun's heat is distributed over a much wider area, bringing temperatures down, and this is when winter occurs. Any precipitation Saskatchewan receives in winter turns from rain to snow due to the sub-zero temperatures. But does all of the northern hemisphere receive a frigid, snowy winter? This is not actually the case. Just look two provinces over to the west where, on the coastline, the winter season usually consists of no snow at all. Winters there have an average of 5.5 degrees Celsius and are very wet and rainy. So. What makes this difference, only 1,300 kilometers to the west of us? Saskatchewan is located in the middle of North America, far from any coast, without an ocean anywhere nearby. We all know that oceans never freeze. All through the year, westerly winds blow weather off the Pacific Ocean onto the west coast. The winds that blow from the ocean are warm and damp, and during the winter months, keep the coastline warmer than the prairie provinces. On the coast, temperatures above zero mean no snow, but the active weather blown off the Pacific means a lot of rain. Saskatchewan does not receive these moist and warm winds from the sea. They are dry and cold by the time they reach us, having traveled over several ranges of mountains. Winter in Saskatchewan is not without its share of wild weather. Blizzards are a common phenomenon and are caused by snow and wind combined. Blizzards can cause complete whiteout conditions where visibility can be zero.
but as long as the winter is in Saskatchewan, the snow will begin to melt eventually, and the ground will begin to thaw. Life will begin to come back. As we talked about before, the Earth's tilt on its axis affects the seasons that the Earth receives. Now, as the northern hemisphere tilts towards the sun, it gets more direct sunlight, and this is the transition between winter and summer, known as spring. Spring in Saskatchewan is often short, but it is a period of time when many birds migrate north, many mammals come out of hibernation, and plant and tree growth start budding out. Spring turns to summer, and the southern prairies get very hot as they receive the sun's full strength. In the summer, Saskatchewan may receive many hours of sunlight. This is due to the westerly flow of air. Active weather still blows off the Pacific Ocean in the summer, and weather travels east across Canada. As clouds reach a mountain range, in this case the Rockies, they are forced to move upwards. Water vapor inside these clouds condenses as the altitude increases and the temperature of the air decreases. At this temperature, water begins to condense and come out as rain. By the time the winds have made their way over these mountain ranges, there is little to no moisture left in the air. Saskatchewan is very flat and is located to the east of the mountains, and this is the reason why Saskatchewan is very hot and dry in the summer. More sun, less rain. But with hot weather comes extreme weather. Southern Saskatchewan is in a prime area for severe thunderstorms to occur. The cool, dry winds coming from the west blow in the upper atmosphere, while warmer, more humid air dripping from the USA slides underneath. When the two air masses meet, they cause instability and a thunderstorm is formed. One of the deadliest weather phenomenon southern Saskatchewan receives is the tornado. On average, Saskatchewan has 15 tornadoes annually between May and August. A tornado occurs alongside severe thunderstorms. For a tornado to be born, a supercell has to be formed. A supercell is a very powerful part of the storm, a large rotating mass of clouds. A funnel cloud will begin to descend from the supercell and the tornado will touch down. But one factor we have to take into account when looking at climate is climate change. Humans are burning fossil fuels, creating greenhouse gases, and are changing the earth in ways so that certain areas could experience drastic changes in their daily weather. All of the weather patterns this video has explained could be changed by our changing climate. This concludes our look at the climate of southern Saskatchewan. My name is Chris Matopov, and thanks for watching.